I just bought a 2015 Model S 85D. So you could check out some other videos about me purchasing that. But I was wondering with some of these older Model S's and Model X's, it's like there's a whole, if you look over here, there is this whole like media control unit. And some of the, it, there's issues sometimes that pop up with what's called a media control unit one, or there's, or some of them actually have been upgraded to media control unit two. One of the things that I've noticed though, whenever I was looking at it at the dealership, is I couldn't really tell whether or not it actually had MCU one or MCU two. Then I got to asking myself, I wonder which one this one actually has, because I didn't, I didn't see anything that gave me a clue. There's nothing that says MCU one or two. So if you're looking for an older Model S like this with free supercharging, that's the other benefit. It's, we figured out that it's free supercharging, so that's really good. Now, so if you're looking for that, but then you're wondering, does it have the MCU one or MCU two? Pay attention, I'm gonna show you how. There's three different ways to actually tell how like what what it actually has so way number one is probably the the second easiest way is if you go over here to software and it'll give you all the information about the vehicle and you go to additional vehicle information under the autopilot computer and it will give you list all of the different things here if the infotainment processor says intel atom then if it's an Intel processor, then that means it's MCU2. And then if it's an NVIDIA processor, if it says NVIDIA Tegra, then it is the MCU1. So that is the very first way. So I'm really, really excited. I didn't even know that we got such a great deal. Not only did we get such a good deal, but it is about $2,500 to upgrade this from MCU one to MCU two. So we have Intel Atom, Atom, whatever you want to call it. So it's an Intel chip and that is the first way to double check. But the easiest way to double check, if you look over here, you go to go back on the screen here and on, under this little three dot button, you click that and you click the theater if it has theater and you have netflix hulu disney plus youtube all of that that you can watch on your screen then that is the second way to know for sure that it is mcu2 all right so the tesla theater deal with netflix and all of that is the second way now the third way and if you really don't need to do this if you see those but you might need to know how to do it anyways. If you're wondering, ever wondering how to soft reset your, your Tesla, you could do it this way. So you actually take both of the scroll wheels here and then so you, you push down on them and you hold down on them for about 10 seconds, four or five, there it goes. And if both of the entertainment things come back on at the same time, then it's MCU two. But if they come on at different times, then it's MCU one. And I, I guess I needed to hold down on it longer. So, or if you want to crash your Tesla, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it because now they're both dark. So let me see if I hold down on it 10 more seconds, if they're going to come back up again. This is interesting. So I was supposed to, cause I looked it up and everything you look up there goes. So they both came back on me. It took a little bit. Wow. That was a little scary. So it took a little bit. They both came on at the same time. This, this takes a little bit longer to boot, but they both did come on at the same time. So that's good. It took a little while. I thought maybe I broke my car. Anyways, all right, well, that was just a simple little way to show you. Again, I'll just tell you the three different ways. First is whether you double check the processor. If it has an Intel processor, it's actually the MCU2. Second is if it has the Tesla theater with Netflix and Hulu and everything, you can watch while you're charging. That's a benefit. And three, if you reset this and they both come on at the same time. Now this one came, the screen, big screen came on later, but the T was on first, 
but usually it will reboot one at a time then that's then that's the third way so but the first two ways are the best ways to double check if you have the tesla theater then there you go or the software is intel then there you go on that one too so instead of the nvidia chip what's the nvidia chips what i understand they actually had a lot of problems so anyways but i am like really really thrilled so not only do we get this car with free supercharging for eighty four hundred dollars after the tax credit <laughs> and and it has just been and it's all-wheel drive it's a great great car but now we also found out that we have the upgraded media control unit and i am just thrilled i am thrilled my daughter is now going to have an even better car i didn't even know i thought we were going to have to upgrade that and turns out that was already a, a thing so anyways now you know if you're getting an older tesla look for those three things and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i will see you on the next video